Hello, my name is Jerry Buckley, and I'm the president of NTID. Welcome back to a new year. We have many exciting events happening this year. First, we want to continue improving our access services. Second, we recently hired a new director of Student Life Team and Diversity and Inclusion. You will have the opportunity to meet them during the year. They are wonderful people. Brick City News was established because we want to improve communication between administration, students, faculty, and staff. We want to utilize Brick City News to inform you of what's happening here at NTID, of the current events and resources available to you. Brick City News was established because we value ASL as part of the language community here at NTID. And we look forward to improving communication in general here at NTID. I'm excited to introduce to you two new hosts, Lauren Putz and Rydrea Walker. Thank you. And without further ado... Hi, and welcome to the second year of Brick City News. I'm Rydrea Walker. And I'm Rand Putz. We'll be the hosts of Brick City News for this year. We're introducing ourselves together so you can get to know our faces. I just want to say I'm really looking forward to this year. Me too. We already got off to a good start. Apple Fest happened on Friday, September 1st, and it was so much fun. Check this out. It was a really good time, and I enjoyed seeing everyone come back this year. And we have a lot to look forward to. For one thing, we have a new director of the Student Life Team. His name is Tim Albert, and he was kind enough to stop by and tell us a little bit about himself. Take a look. Hello, everyone. My name is Tim Albert, and I'm NTID's new director of the Student Life Team. I was born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm a proud alumnus. I graduated from here in 1997 and later earned my bachelor and master's degrees in social work. Now I'm back. I just finished working as the middle and high school dean of students at the Indiana School for the Deaf. I'm thrilled to be back here and I'm looking forward to working with SLT. I'm especially looking forward to developing and maintaining strong relationships with different organizations around campus to provide different activities, events, and resources for all students here at RIT NTID. I know we have a great year coming up, and I'm very glad to be here. Pretty cool, right? Also, we have a big event coming up at the Dyer Art Center. Arte del Corazon. It's a huge exhibit of Latinx deaf art that'll be here all semester. The exhibit's been open since September 1st, but there's an opening ceremony tonight and tomorrow that's full of great events. First, come to the Dyer starting at 4 p.m. today to meet the artists. Then the reception will start around 5. Things will wrap up with a presentation by Drago Renteria in the Panera Theater which will run from 7 to 9 tonight. But there's more. Tomorrow there will be an art workshop from 2 to 5 p.m. in the Dyer. Then a special performance from Gallaudet's Latinx Student Union in the Panera Theater from 7 to 8.30 p.m. The performance is called The Glass Wall. It's supposed to be really good. All the events are free and open to the public, so you should definitely check it out. I think it's the first exhibit of its kind, right? That's right. It's totally unique, and it's a great honor that NTID was able to host it. It's pretty cool. What's also cool is the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency is coming to campus for an informational session with NTID students on September 19th. 
The information session starts at 5 p.m. on Tuesday, September 19th in STC 1300 and will run until 6.30. There will be a presentation about going to work for the federal government and information on the best way to interview for those jobs. In case you didn't know, the NGA provides information to the federal government that lets them make a lot of important decisions around the world. They use cutting-edge technology and are always looking for smart people to work for them. I think they came to the right place. I might even check it out myself. That's not the only thing coming up, though. Here's Tim again, ready to share information about some events that the SLT is hosting soon. September is a busy month. Keep an eye out for the Latin American Deaf Club, which is hosting its LADC week until Sunday. There are lots of events and activities. Don't forget about Mexico's Independence Day on Wednesday, September 20th, which will be hosted by the Deaf International Student Association in SDC 1300 from 7 to 9 p.m. It will be a lot of fun and we will celebrate an important day for our neighbor to the south. SLT will also host its famous Hot Lava Discussion on September 21st in SDC 1300 from 7 to 9 p.m. Come and talk about hot topics and news in our community and learn more about each other. Then on September 22nd, the Deaf Basketball Association will kick off the new season. Come out and support your friends on the court. More details will be available soon. As always, check in at the SLT office on the first floor of the SDC and watch the flyers and posters around here closely. There is always something happening around here. Thanks, Tim. Well, that's all for this episode. Don't forget to watch for our next episode in two weeks. I'm Ren. And I'm Rydrea, and you just watched Brick City News. Enjoy your weekend!